previously on Barefoot Sailing Adventures. <laughs> Go ahead, I'll follow you to the Queen's Quarters. Today is put the boat in day. We are here at our boat and we are about to hook up and put her in the water. First, we gotta get a few things set up, make sure she's travel ready. We're hooking our land yacht up to the boat. I've never seen anything quite like this. We're gonna get it all on film. <laughs> It's a big step for us. We have now had another member join our family. We are introducing the two. <laughs> About to hook up to this bad boy. Drag this thing back to the water and get back on our path. Yes. From Tampa Bay to Key, Key West. West. Come on with us. Exactly. See how many tries it takes us to actually get it hooked up. Well, Ashley is a pro at helping back up. You got about this much space. Just a hair. You got about this much. Needs to be cranked up. Brand new crank on there. How does it goes? Work? This way, right? Yeah. Yep. Look at there. Perfect. That's good. Yep. Looks like it needs to come over just a little bit. Like a glove. I think. Yeah. Um, now I'm just going to pull ahead and just. Okay. Yep. All right. Now, just make sure everything's going to be safe and sound. So far, so good, everybody. That was pretty good. First try, huh? Yeah, that's good. Excellent. Let me just take a closer look at everything before we go. Look at that, would you? It is long. Long and strong. And we're about to get the friction on. You know, it's pretty neat because our boat looks itty bitty. It does. <laughs> it really does, but it's somewhat the angle. It let's, is the angle. Let's go over here and see if the boat looks... Now the boat looks a little bigger. Yeah. Looks long. Camper just takes over. We've got a few things we need to do to button this thing up. I kind of want to put the camera up. I'm gonna do a little higher yeah. and we're gonna put the camera on the motor coach. We don't want to get too high though because there are some low hanging lines. That's right. Yeah, we're gonna put this motor up first before we go dragging her down the road. Ah, she works. Get this down. This slides into here. That's it. Now she's got a little beef there. Ride along with us as we take this long unit. I'm gonna just pace it off and just give you an idea how long this is. Approximately 69 feet of goodness from tip to tail. The ultimate setup. That's true. This is this the ultimate adventure setup? Motor sailor in the land yacht? I don't, I've never seen anything quite like this on the internet. Woo! Here we go. This Here is pretty we go. cool. We're gonna try to buttoned up. We gotta highlight this though a little bit. We, we really, I mean. All right, folks. We're about to go put her in. It may have gotten and caught me running, holding my boot. <laughs> Drive her down the road and see what happens. Oh goodness. It's huge. That's what she said. We're rolling down the highway. Go put the boat in the water. We've got the truck, the camper, and the boat. Are you ready? I hope so. <laughs> it's always nervous when you go to drop it in the water. Still gotta put the mast up. We got a lot to do yet. This is a fun little ride. Yes. It's exciting to uh, get her out on the highway and see how she does. Yes. On the road again. Tampa Bay, Key West, picking up right here. Punta Gorda. Punta Gorda. Headed south just as soon as we get the old girl in the water. Can't even see the boat back there. It's like driving a big rig. Mike, you look nervous. <laughs> What's going on in your mind? Well, there's a long tow bar in the back of the truck that extends out like four feet to get out to the back of the land yacht. There's a lot of leverage in this. Yeah. It's way out there. Luckily, we're not actually going on the highway. We're just taking a short through town. ride through town. <laughs> so far, so very good. The safety chain all the way to the truck, well, all the way back. That's good. So we won't lose our boat. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> safety chain is uh, a little bit. Riding through Punta Gorda here. Go through town here. It's exciting. It is busy. As long as she stays on there, I'll be happy. Crashing and falling off. Not happy. <laughs> we just quietly want to get through town. Yeah. We don't want to make a big ruckus. We don't we want don't, to have problems. We don't want to have an oops moment. <laughs> I mean, if this isn't an adventure eye-catching son of a gun, I don't know what is. Well, if something does go, go wrong, we have the cameras that yeah. will catch it, so maybe we can post it as a fail video before somebody else does. Yeah. <laughs> so far, so good. No problem. Typical tractor trailer. Trailer is 54 feet. We're probably a meter or two shy 
of a full tractor trailer setup, but close. It's a little, it's not as maneuverable. I'm ready to get this thing in the water. Start floating again. We sat here and we waited in our land yacht for the hurricane season to end. And finally, we're about to go dump this thing in. So come on. We made it. Here we go. We've made it to the launch. This one's called Lashley Public Boat Launch. It's a little longer than the big spots that they give us. Plus we have to extend out the mast even further before it goes up. Putting the mast up. Should be the quickest time ever because we're more prepared than ever. The next step is gonna be to remove beautiful blue cover here. Ashley's still in the land yacht, just kind of getting together, getting herself together. I told her to go ahead and just take her time until I get to a point. Sometimes it's easier on a small boat such as this to uh, only have one person bouncing around this bad boy. Look, there's Ashley. She's getting ready over there. She's putting some sunscreen on. Gorgeous day, huh? Sun's a shining. Wind is nice and light. And we've been waiting for this. It got cloudy. It did. How about the clouds? Florida. It's Florida, baby. Come to Florida, Florida. Hey, I think we are ready to slide this mast backwards. You know what? I went through all the standing rigging. Now we can move forward with confidence here. It's, I think, in the other bay. Right over there, that's good. Now we're there, a little tighter. Let me get one that fits right in that hole, perfect. Let's make sure our medium stays are in and check the tension on the medium, on the small stays as we go. So go ahead, absolutely, two wraps for sure. She's heavy when she's low like this. Real light. Yeah, I'll help you up a little bit. Everything okay? Keep coming. Doing great. Let's go ahead and tighten these up a little bit more. A couple more turns. It's good. Yep. Oh, one more. Yep. That's it. We're in. Okay, folks, we're fully erect. Things are looking pretty damn good. Black tape. Yeah, let's work together to get the boom up. Let's do it. You and me. I think we're all right. This is amazing. The mast fully raised. The rigging is tensioned. The mast is straight. We've got all new cotters at all the connections. I'm feeling good. Now it's time to get the boom and the sails on. It's a very good start, folks. Woo! <laughs> We're gonna put the boat in. <laughs> We're getting so close. Are you ready? Yes, we gotta put the sails up. That is our next order of business. All right, so let's do it. Yes, boom and sails. Might turn into a bit of a time lapse. We'll do our best to walk you through it. Hopefully it doesn't take us too long to where we have to speed it up too fast. Okay. Going down. Let's see what we have down here. What we have is a bit of a mess. The boom. I'll grab that part maybe. Oh, she's got to move everything up out of the way. It's an old antenna. Here, why don't you uh, just man the back and I'll grab this stuff. Looks like it's going to live there. All right. Okay, a little further. Okay, boom, the boom is on. You gotta do the reefing lines too. We gotta do reefing lines, we gotta do the head sails, the other big thing. Yeah. And sail ties. Sail ties. We might not have to put this thing all the way up. Can you just put it up just a little bit? Oh no, right there. We're gonna have to get her out and get her in the sunshine. Do some sailing, that's for sure. Starting to look like a sailboat, she said. Love it. Yeah, now we just put our cover on. You just kinda tuck it under and then bring it through. Might as well just toss this back down there. And take a look, at least just for the sail. Yeah. This is actually the head of the sail. Dyneema halyard here, folks. Angled like a bag of ropes. So now we're gonna furl this thing. There we are. Now you should be able to... Which way is it furl? Furls this way. So you gotta get control of this. Well, I had to run them first. Yep. Furl it. Pretty please. You're gonna have to be able to put a little tension on it. Yeah. Just really tight. There we go. A little more. That's it. All right, we got the sails on it. Ashley, great job. Great job. We got it rigged. Got it rigged. So now we just got to get organized, right? Uh, no, we have to put the canopy and stuff on. Let's do that. That's a good idea. Great idea. Solar panel. Yeah, we can get it out of your way. Ooh, we're getting there. We're getting quicker and better and finding little tricks that really save time. See, all we're going to need is a screwdriver for this job. Will that one work? Yep. All right. Got it. Like so. Getting hungry. We can go out to lunch. In fact, I think what we should do is leave this thing hooked up, take pictures of it from that rooftop bar. Well, why don't we take a break, come back, finish up, put her in. Sounds good. So thank you for watching us get her done and then ride with us. We're going Tampa Bay the to Key, Key West. West. We aren't even halfway there, so we got plenty more to go. Plenty more to go.